Hi guys, and welcome to my 11th year teaching in the Busy Bee classroom. So just wanted to take you on the tour. So there's my alma mater. Um, we're in No Excuses University, so that's, we each have a different school that we hang up a flag for in outside of our room. So mine's West Texas A&M University. Here's our um, big map outside of our classroom, so people can see how we're connected all over the world. This will have eventually our Twitter feed. I'm going to be much better about Flat Stanley, and I'll also have our video conferencing. We'll add to the map, and I have one in the classroom too. When you first walk in, it has your um, it has my calendar right here, and that's for um, when people like OT speech. Um, come in, they can sign in and sign out so that way I have my documentation so I can turn in. There's the overview of my classroom. Looks a lot different this year. Last year I came in right before school started so I didn't really know, I didn't really see the vision for my classroom. We got a lot of stuff done and it was fantastic but this year is nice to actually have a chance to set it all up a little bit differently. There's our big idea board. If you collect box tops and um, tarry slips, here's a great place. This is the place that they'll turn in their their um, things every morning along with their folder. And when they have work, they'll turn it in right there. So our lockers and our word wall. Right here is our books for the classroom. Um, the bottom shelf will also have their book boxes. I just have to grab those. Here's um, each student has of course their own desk and schedules be on the desk by tomorrow morning because school starts. This is where we do um, cooking or other group activities. All of my schedules, all the picture symbols for my schedules. Inside the bathroom you can see a shoe holder that I have and I have um, a student name on each one of the pockets so during self-help time they will be able to go grab their toothpaste or toothbrush or comb to work on self-help skills. All my different years of teaching, all my kiddos. Now, if you see the SWBAT, um, a teacher just sent a link to this um, to some other teacher, well, to our staff, and I just thought it was the best idea ever. And so I'll post a link on that, but student will be able to. And so for her transition, she goes, so that, so that student will be able to, and then um, you, they talk about what they're going to be able to do by repeating it back to the teacher. So I'm definitely going to use that this year because I'm changing up my schedule a little bit. our listening center. So the schedules are almost finished on the desk. Part of our computer center. Right here I am um, doing a learning to earn and so each student has a, paper, has a clothespin and they will stay on green. They'll always start on green and every hour they'll change back to green so that way they have lots of chances to earn money. So if they stay on green, they earn a dollar every hour. If they move to yellow, they don't get anything. And then if they move to red, they actually have to pay me a dollar. And so our B bucks can be spent in lots of different places. And I also have here lots of other ways that they can earn money. Turning in my folder, getting to school on time, being caught being good. the different ways they can spend their money, and I'll have a shop on Fridays. Here's our big schedule, because each student will then have a regular schedule on their desk. There's the Denzi photo from Yellowstone. D uh, different awards and everything. Century buckets back there with rice and beans. Enough for... Um, each kiddo to have one. A 
This is where I'll do small group and direct instruction right here at this table. So there's my classroom for this year. I will probably have some more video updates because as you know I'm trying to keep my blog super updated. So what are you doing in your classroom this year?